Hey guys and girls, this is Gordon Overkill with the fifth episode of the adventures of the little octopode ice elementalist crawling through the dungeon. At the end of our last episode, I actually uh, ended the recording a little bit too early, so you lost a couple, may maybe a minute or two of uh, of my gameplay. The only thing you missed was uh, the octopode exploring the little rest of uh, Orc 2 that was still unexplored and going back up to the dungeon. So pretty much nothing important that you missed. I must accidentally have uh, hit my hotkey to uh, end the recording without realizing. But well, uh, luckily uh, it didn't happen in the beginning, but rather in the end. I will take good care not to do that again today. What do we want to do today? We have finished the dungeon, we have finished the Lair of Beasts, and we have finished the Orcish Mines. Our character is strong enough to go for his first rune today. And we've got two options for this rune, which is uh, the Swamp or Shawls. An Octopod has advantages for both of them, because both are water-based uh, branches, and uh, the Octopod can, Octopus can swim. He can fight in water without... Uh, disadvantages. Um, in Shawls we have to deal with massive missile fire and with enemies trying to control our mind like uh, um, like casting fear on us or hypnotizing us and stuff like that. And I think both are things that we are not very well suited to deal with. Let me show you. Oh, that's wrong. Here we've got just two picks of magic resistance, which is not too much. That means uh, we can get mind controlled pretty easily. And we've got just six picks in shields. So uh, handling these uh, missile fires, javelin throwers and stuff is not uh, the big uh, strength of our octopus either. So I think let's go for swamp instead. For Swamp, it's very important to be resistant to poison. And we can get poison resistance with our statue form. We've got it at 30% failure rate right now. And I think that's enough. If we play it carefully, if we uh, cast the spell early enough, we should be able to uh, stay in statue form for the, for the important fights. So Swamp is where we go. But before we do that, I was asked to show you guys an overview of the rings our octopus is currently wearing. So what have we got? We have got a ring of flight at one of our tentacles. It allows us to enchant, uh, uh, to, uh, to cast a flight spell. Uh, that's not really necessary. We need that to pass lava maybe, but uh, we can just swim through water and also through deep water. So not very important for us. We've got a ring of protection from cold, one point in cold resistance, very nice. Dexterity pl T plus six, plus six, this increases our evasion value a bit. Positive energy, gives us resistance to negative energy. Protection from magic, we've got just one of these, but uh, it uh, protects us from all kinds of mind control. And we've got a ring of protection from fire, gives us one point in protection from fire. In the long term, what makes an octopod really strong is uh, nice artifact rings. Sadly, we didn't find any of these yet, although we already read two scrolls of acquirement and checked the shops in the Orcish Mines. So not too lucky in that respect so far, but maybe, maybe we will find something in the next episodes. Okay. So much about the rings. Let's go to Swamp now. And we have to play that really carefully. What have we got here? Swamp has been reworked recently. We're playing on the trunks. So we've got the latest version of Swamp in our game. And here we directly see one of the new enemies, an Eleonoma. I will introduce the new enemies to you in detail. Eleonoma, spirits of marshes and bogs. From the cypresses and willows of the fence stems the power of these fierce protective spirits. With the bows and branches they flow, emerging from trees near their foes to strike. 
So this guy has uh, around about 80 HP, which is quite a lot. They don't go down quickly. They have pretty high magic resistance, normal EV and pretty low armor class. They don't have any particular resistances. They can hit for up to 25 points of damage and they've got two spells, which are Splinter Spray, fires a directed stream of sharp wooden splinters. Its damage is strongly reduced by armor. We have very low armor, as you know. And they have got Wood Wheel. Draws on the vitality of leaf and bark to heal a large amount of damage. Cannot be cast without a tree adjacent. So that's the spells. So he can, right now, she or he, I think it's a she. It looks like long hair and a pretty kind of female features. I think she can regenerate herself now because down to the bottom left, there is a tree adjacent to her. We want to fight this spirit though. And how do we do that? I think we should at first increase our armor by a little bit or a big bit. That's the question. I think we could cast statue form for the first time. Didn't work. Let's go back up. Wait till we're not contaminated anymore and cast the spell up here. Uh, again, didn't work. Didn't work again. We should have 30% failure rate, but we just cannot cast the spell or am I wrong? Four times miscast and we are a statue. Let's go down. See, as a statue, our HP increases to 148 and most important, we've got an armor class of 27. That's quite a lot. Let's see if we can increase it even further with Osokubo's armor. No, doesn't work on stone. But 27 AC, that's quite a lot. We are pretty tanky now. And we There's no need to be afraid of her, uh, her splinter spell now. So we want her to get a bit closer to us. So, oh, what's that? How did she get up there? We throw a boomerang, the boomerang hits, the uh, Eleonoma shouts, is lightly wounded, and the Eleonoma melts with the trees. So she appears at the tree right north of us. She is in melee range, but she's not resistant to cold. Uh, we, ah, damn. That's a negative point about uh, Swarm for us. Our Frozen Rampart don't work in here. So let's rather cast uh, Lightning Spire and Freeze her. Yeah, that takes a while. Uh, we got her, but we've got a Swamp Worm right next to us. Need to kill this guy too. With our high AC, we should be able to finish him off. Still, I try to play that slowly and carefully. Especially without Frozen Ramparts, we are a bit weakened. So we would preferably fight the enemies in small groups. Here's the first Hydra we have to fight. Fighting Hydras outside of the swamp was easier for us because we could use the frozen ramparts. Inside it doesn't work. Let's see how we do here. I think uh, just to make sure that nothing bad happens, let's retreat to the stairs. Flame the Hydra once. Now we can... Oh no, we don't have... Uh, here the Hydra comes. I think I want to lure it up with me, but I prefer to be in statue form once I stand next to, hy to the Hydra. Gives us 30 bonus HP and a lot of AC. So take the Hydra back up, cast Frozen Ramparts, and now it is uh, already slowed, and we've got it. We need some more damage. Ah, yeah, I got a decent hint, a very good hint. There is one ice spell in our arsenal that uh, is eh, maybe it's not that good uh, all in all. Hmm. Freezing cloud, freezing cloud. Let me think about it. Um, 
Freezing Cloud has 36% failure chance because our conjuration and our air magic are both very low. We have got air 3 and conjuration 3. Do we want to put a lot of points in air and conjuration? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Maybe in conjuration. Hmm. It would be very helpful because it gives us an area of effect spell for this dungeon. Yeah. Let's get a bit more. Let's get that up to five. Let's maybe get that up to four and see how that helps. We learn the spell. We might just forget it later. But for now, for the moment, let's learn the freezing cloud and see how it helps us. So. I'm not 100% convinced that we are well prepared. This bog mummy, we know bog mummies, it does a uh, bolt of cold, it can slow us. It is resistant to cold, not very resistant, but resistant, which is not nice. You can do 20 points of damage plus 30 extra cold damage. That's a lot, but we have got decent cold resistance, don't we? Yeah, oh, we've got maximum cold resistance. So we can hardly... Uh, Oh man, I should avoid my random blinks. <sighs> what happened? Uh huh. What just happened? Why are we on Swarm 2? Kill the drake. Sif Muna accepts the kill. Lightning spire disappears. Ice armor crackles. You climb downwards? Uh, why did I climb downwards? That was not, not intended. Let's go back up. Oh, and we have a Hydra right next to us. I will try to do it again like we handled the last Hydra. As long as we are around the starting stairs, we should be pretty safe. And there's not a lot the Hydra can do. Killed it. Good. Potion of Mutation. Here are directly two new enemy types. Take a close look at these. That's a Boonjip. A flesh-eating beast that uses its five long limbs interchangeably. It moves with alarming speed, but must pause to reorganize itself after each attack. Its distinctive screams carry far and wide. Also 80 HP, that's a lot. Average AC, EV and MR. And it has got a warning cry generates a loud noise alerting nearby enemies. It is resistant to poison, but no further resistances. Fast, but it, it attacks extremely slowly. 40 points of damage maximum. That's a lot again. The other one is maybe even more annoying. That's a Goliath frog. A frog of exceptional size for a frog. It lashes its prey with its tongue from a distance and coat them in its acidic stomach juices. So it has got a ranged acid attack. Very high EV, I think. Low AC, decent MR. It is cold-blooded, so our cold attacks work extremely well against it, and it can swim very quickly. So, that's these enemies. I would prefer not to fight them both at once. So can we maybe from here throw okay the bunjip did its bunjip thing and uh alerted all other enemies nearby we killed the the frog in the second row now let's see how we handle the 
SpongeBob Ouch, that hurt. Oh, that hurt too. I'm uh, not so happy with that. Um, needs a bit of support here. And now we can, from the second row, kill the Bunjib with the Hailstorm. That's better. Uh, we are a bit low on mana, so let's channel magic. We got them. Good. Retreat towards the stairs. So remember, against the Bunjib, we don't want them to, uh, to get to melee range. It's too dangerous. They do just do too much damage. For fights like this, I think our Ozobokus uh, armor spell should be fine. The disadvantage of statue form is that it makes us very slow. So uh, running away is not an option anymore. Swamp Drake. We don't have our poison. No, so we have to do statue form here. Mm. The swamp worm can hook shot us. Again, I want to go into retreat, retreat, retreat. I'd like to, yeah, we're statue form now. That's good. Um, I want some support for this fight. Channel magic. Oh, fuck. Uh, did I just miscast the lightning spire? Yeah, I did. Oh, that's not good. We get Hawk shoot it, uh, shoot it directly. I don't want to sit next to all of them. Oh, damn. That's not so good. MR is low of this guy. We don't have fear, though. I'm afraid that's a dangerous situation. What could we do here? Alligator can do up to 45 points of damage. It's too much damage to get out of here. So let's blink around that corner. And keep going to the side. We are too far away from the stairs. Could blink one more time, but I don't think that would help. We could read summoning, which should probably do the job. Uh, nothing helpful here. I think summoning is the way to go. Yeah. We get a nice little army of uh, of minions to help us. And I wonder, should we hail storm here? I think we should. That will probably kill our Bunjib. Yeah, try it anyways. Yeah, we got them all. Good. Oh, that was a str tough fight. Whew. That was some damage. That's some more damage. <coughs> oh, that's just too much damage. What's going on here? Heal wounds. Here once again. That's not good. 
at all. <sighs> Bye. We are not strong enough for Swamp yet. We need some kind of a better attack spell or something. What could we do instead? Options. F1 maybe? F1 could be an option. Schultz. Very dangerous though with the javelin ears. I think we've got decent resistances and I almost feel best in F1. Let's try to do that first. How much heal wounds have we got left? Two potions. So, how do we handle this elf statue form? Go down again. Kill the guys from a distance. Good. So, the starting area is secured. Yeah, maybe that's some kind of a lesson from this attempt in Schultz, uh, uh, in, in, in Swamp. If you realize that you're struggling too hard in a certain area, there's no shame about retreating. You can always come back later when you're stronger. Still at 0% for absolute zero, are we? Yeah, of course we are. Damn. Hmm, against this elven knight, I prefer to statue form. Oh, he knocks us back with the false lands. But we can kill him. Yeah, good. Ouch. Ouch. I should not fight these weapons without armor. It was a plus three Vorpal hell, but of course that's dangerous. Is this guy resistant to cold? Immune to cold. Damn, that sucks. Can I summon skill him? I think we killed the Earth Knight, good. Come on, kill this guy. You can do it. And the Earth Elemental is down. Ah, also here we struggle a bit. <laughs> we are struggling. armor up. This weapon is probably very resistant to cold, yeah. So we have to use summons against it too. Do it. It's a short sort of freezing. Nah, probably not. Let's regenerate and reset the fight. Uh, 
And we got them. Good. Oh yeah, this rope is interesting for another character, but not for us. Um, short sword of venom. Let's blink. Oh damn! Worst possible blink. Dick, get out of here. Oh, that's a lot of them. Shit. And we're heavily poisoned. Need to cure right now. I have to waste a blink. Oh, 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 oh. How much damage can they do? Depending on the spell, I guess. Those bold spells do a lot. I will heal wounds once more. Dig one more time. Statue form. No. Could use the demon trident to melee him. Maybe that's best. Also, get try to get to the second row and now melee the weapon. Doesn't really work. Quickly kill this elf. Good. Channel magic. Just in case we need to get to a distance, so let's blink away. Cast lightning spire. Let's see if that works. So now we've got the whole army against the sword and worked. What killed it? Let's see who did the job. You impaled it. Yeah, we did it with our with our Herbert. Okay, we got out there. But we had to use a blink scroll, which I didn't really want. Let's try to retreat from here. Close this door. Close that door. <sighs> Close and regenerate. There he is. I think we can kill him while he's invisible. Should work. I don't think. Yeah, we got him. And Sif Muna gives us a book that has got Necromutation, Yara's, a Violent Unraveling, and Beastly Appendage. I don't think we really want any of these. Identify these amulets. This is reflection and this is a regeneration. Any of this better than magic regeneration? Probably not for us. I might keep them for the moment though. <coughs> is there any other spell that would help? Ice form, no. Air strike maybe. Air strike is a smite target spell that works well against flying enemies, such as these weapons. 
and we have already got it at 10% failure rate, that's good. Let's learn airstrike. I think I will forget it uh, at one point, but uh, at least that's uh, a useful spell against these flying weapons. Yeah, let's see. We've got a short sort of flame, so let's get the armor up and now cast airstrike against the weapon. Nah, that's something. Two spells and the weapon falls down to the ground. One miscast, and we got it. Nah, that's it. That was a good idea, I think. one rather got him we got him okay that was too much damage against the archers I don't know maybe uh Against the archer's statue form is better. I think it is. And we are done with the first level of the Elven Halls. Didn't find anything that really makes us stronger. Got an advantage with airstrike though. And we can slowly be getting to the point where we can also cast Freezing Cloud if we want. Ah, hmm. Need to get a bit more conjuration, I think. Get that up to eight. Take a look into the seventh, second level. It's statue form. Frozen ramparts. This air elemental also flies, doesn't it? Uh, yes, it does. So, airstrike is our spell to kill it. Good. Good thing about airstrike, it's also a max range spell, so I should have learned that earlier. But see, we can now cast spells against this guy from a distance, but uh, you don't kill it with the spells. <laughs> but I want to try it anyways. Yeah, that worked. So we could kill the the archer. From a distance. Got him. And it's a smite target spell, so we can also kill enemies in the second row. I think that's even reason enough to get air magic a little bit higher as well. Yeah. Down there, I see another ring. That's always Interesting. What kind of ring is it? It is a ring of magical power. Gives us additional nine points of magic. Of course, that's a fine ring for our character. It feels so good that now we can really fight these weapons. The further they are away, the less dangerous they are for us because there's very little chance that they will get to melee range at all. Statue form. Okay, we need line of sight, apparently. Got him. Okay, that's a bit dangerous. I would like... 
Hmm, which spell is best suited for this situation? Is this a situation for the freezing cloud? Like here? I think so. Yeah. No, they all stand in the freezing cloud. Two, three, one, two, three. That should hit the, hit the demonologist. Good. Got the demonologist. Excellent. I'd like to reposition so we get. Yeah, like this. Good. Let's just. Uh, we need more magic, channel magic. Taking some damage. Need to kill this guy quickly. And we got him. Yeah, that was a relatively tough fight, but with the freezing cloud and uh, the airstrike, at least we, 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 we've got something in our arsenal to, to, to fight in these situations. Ouch. What happened? Did he heal? He's hasted, that's not good. Just blink away. Oh, 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 oh! Very bad. That hurt. Hmm. Blink. Controlled blink in this direction. How much damage can this guy do in one turn? Force lands can potentially one-shot us. Hmm. Blink is too risky. Blinking one more time. Wait, if we blink to the stairs, he doesn't have a direct line of fire on us, so we can go upstairs. Let's do that. Read one more blinking scroll. Here. Now he has got line of fire, but we read a scroll of fog to block this line and we go upside. Whew. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bad. So, statue form, down. And can we get them both in a freezing cloud? We can. Good. And hairstorm. And his them again, and we got them. We have to play very careful from the first to the last turn of every fight. Got these guys, we reached another level, it's always nice. And I want to pick up the condenser wane. We don't have much evocation, but it's still cool to have. Go to statue form. And kill the orcs. I think we are pretty close to the point where our octopus gets really strong, but we're not there yet. So at the moment we are still very vulnerable to to loads of situations. <sighs> Absolute zero. Oh, it's not at 100% anymore. Where is it? Here, 99. <laughs> 99, fantastic. <sighs> Check our active spells. Freezing Cloud is 16, Airstrike is 6. That looks decent. And Statue Form at 28.
Yeah, you see, fire enemies are not not big trouble for us, but uh, ouch, that hurt. What what is that? Short sort of protection, justice. No, that must have been the the force lens then. Oh, poor little squishy squid. Do we want to go to the weapon chamber? Hmm, I don't know. Is there anything else we would rather go? <sighs> With our new spells, maybe give Swamp another try? With Freezing Cloud? Let's try that. <sighs> We are a bit stronger now. We also are reli more reliable at casting our our statue form. Take a look down here. Cast it. That's one of the bad things that they this. There are so many dangerous enemies in many different ways. Like the swamp bombs who can mess up your positioning. Can we freezing cloud for them from here? No. Freezing cloud. Damn, that should do the job good. I think freezing cloud might be the way to go. How does it help against the bunjip? Pretty well, I think. Yeah, got it. <laughs> that was one of the best swarm fights we had so far. Many of these animals are susceptible to cold, if I'm not wrong. this so good got them Freezing cloud, good. That's ah, excellent against alligators. Yeah, it was an excellent hint to learn this spell for uh, for swamps. Really is uh, super helpful. Oh, 
that hurt a bit, but we did it. Good. <sighs> Good thing is that we have this very, very high cold resistant uh, resistance ourselves, so we're not in danger if we uh, cast the spell on our own position. We can just stand in the freezing cloud and we survive. And we're done with the second level of Swamp. Very nice. Whoo, Thorn Hunter. I don't want a Thorn Hunter right next to me. Maybe right next is better than at a distance though. On the other hand, with the freezing cloud. What about the ghost trap? The ghost trap. Immune to poison negativity, not resistant to cold. Can cast the spectral cloud. But it cannot cast clouds on clouds. What happened? Where did it go? Don't know. Up here. So now I will... Let's do this first. Oh no. Oh no. Now he blocked the clouds, my potential clouds, with his cloud. That's what I wanted to do with him. Uh, let me dig through here. Bye bye. So now let us directly cast the freezing cloud on this square so he cannot cast his own cloud on us anymore because there is already a cloud at this uh, particular square ah was the correct idea but i misplayed it damn it's <laughs> another ghost crap so i run into my own, uh, why does it retreat? Coward crap would be the better description. Got this guy, got these guys, got these guys, good. Him, kill the ghost crap, good. Getting a little low on mana. So we'll retreat to the stairs and go upstairs. Okay, that was well played. <laughs> Here is the Thorn Hunter. So we go into statue form and cast a freezing cloud on him. And cast another freezing cloud here. Miscast it. Oh, oh, he does so much damage with the volley of thorns. Mmm. Should better kill it before it kills us. We're running low on mana. Uh, it's too dangerous, isn't it? Could heal wounds. Small head of sharp thorns, 3D18. Can hit for up to 50 points of damage. We have an emergency blink available, but we are far away from the stairs. Hmm. He is pretty low already. And we killed it. Good. <laughs> it's 
sub zero, absolute zero is at 99% still. Freezing cloud 11, airstrike 4. Let's remember that airstrike is very good against uh, each flying enemy, so also against dragons. Does any one of these guys fly? The ghost crypt doesn't fly, no. Would have been a surprise if it did, to be honest. So we we'll retreat to the stairs, go upstairs. Go to statue form. No, we don't want to fight in the spectral cloud. Fuck, that was too much damage. I don't think we can fight them both at once. Let's take another stat on. Here's the Goliath frog. So come Goliath frog. Yeah, got him good. That's the ghost crab. We stay in, uh, in our own... Where does it go? There it is. So, got it in the freezing cloud. And we get it. <laughs> Statue form to make us poison resistant. Now just kill the dragon. Good, we got it. Cast an Ice cloud here, yeah, freezing cloud. And there is another Goliath frog incoming. We need mana, channel magic. <laughs> They're all standing in the freezing cloud now, that's good. And we got them. Perfect. Kill the Drake. Perfect. And see what this book contains. Sif Muna, what have you got for us? That's Mystic Blast, Starburst, and Crystal Spear. Crystal Spear, a good spell for high conjuration cars, uh, characters, which we are sadly not. <laughs> well, this guy is really quick. So let's just cast the, the Freezing Cloud two steps ahead of him. Good thing is that the Tyrant Leech kills himself with a with the freezing clouds we had already cast. And here we've got another new enemy. The bloated husk. A decaying undead corpse when it reaches a victim, or if it's destroyed first. The gases trapped inside it are released and create a large, violent, concussive blast. Just 25 HP, that's not a lot. Immune to poison, negative energy, resistant to cold, but just resistant. That's not enough, my friend. That's not enough. Oh, damn. You got pretty close. <laughs> the gases engulf us, but we don't care. And we are back to 5 fighty, which is good, because that means we will again get uh, spell books from Sif Muna. And one of these books will hopefully at one point give us Ozoboku's refrigerator. Got the feeling that Freezing Cloud is actually stronger than I uh, gave the spell credit for. Uh, let's drop one of the tridents. Makes no sense to carry them all around. Oh, and I just said, I just see we picked up another ring. 
which is a plus six ring of intelligence. Excellent. That helps us a lot with our spell casting. Six percent and two percent now. Statue form is at nineteen percent, uh, but we are already a statue. Let's check how it looks when we are when we are not uh, in the statue form. We've got ninety-one percent at absolute zero. Slowly but surely, we are crawling down the stairs. And once we've got absolute zero online, this will be a totally different game. I promise you. So Tus two buckler. That's better than our buckler. Nice. A little upgrade for our defensive capabilities. Drop our own buckler. Pick up the plus two buckler. And did I just drop my might potions? Yeah. For whatever reason, I dropped my might potions. I'm not sure if that's a bug or so. Sometimes I drop stuff that I don't want to drop. <sighs> Fence Strider Witch. A Fence Strider Witch. Followers of the ancient swamp ways. These witches rise above the muck and mire on a pair of stilt like chicken legs. They are masters of pain and poison. They can paralyze us at 21% chance, which is fatal for us at the moment. They cast Agony, which does a lot of damage, and they also have got Hurl Sludge. Conjures a focused blast of highly toxic sludge, poisoning the victim and drenching their surroundings. The sludge damages uh, and uh, poisons all monsters, even those resistant to poison. Okay, okay, we don't want to fight her in melee. Let's check another staircase. Is there one that we... yeah, this one might be good. Yeah, that looks better. Just the two alligators here. And the transformation, just to make sure. Here is another one of these Goliath frogs. These guys to stand in the freezing cloud all the time. Oh, he still does a lot of damage. What can we do? Uh, 40 damage with three claws. Mm. Almost got him. And got him. Good. My, my, my. Need a bit more HP. Mm. Wait, wait. She will directly come through the yeah, yeah, that's what she wanted to do. I knew it. Um, now we cast the freezing cloud right on our head. Might sound stupid at first, but uh, I think that's the best thing because we are very resistant to cold. And none of them are. Does she fly? No. Need to get rid of the Eleo Noma. Hmm. Or should we kill the, the dragon first? I think we should. Yeah. Fuck, the frog is in range. Need to get rid of the frog too, quickly if possible. Ouch, we're pretty low on HP. Now let's just move out. There is a 
Hydra, but it didn't see us, which I'm not sad about because I want to regenerate. Reset the fight. Oh fuck, that was a mistake. It's empty transformation. So we are s uh, faster again, because uh, there. is Lerny, and I don't want Lerny next to me when I'm slowed. So take this single guy with us, kill him, and check another down staircase like this. Okay, we know now that we have to fight Lerny. Something to keep in mind. Go into statue form, go down, cast, freezing cloud. That's our way to go. Freezing cloud and then freeze them to death. Anybody? Yeah, here. Sarah, nice. Here's Lonnie. <sighs> Is this a good situation to fight Lonnie? Just give it a try if we. That's a bit. Uh, she's slowed, that's good. Keep her slowed. So, just kite her. Oh fuck, in the water she's not so slow, but she's got one more slow turn before she gets into the water. Oh, one more, that's good. In theory, I've got a chance to kill her now. Probably not, probably not. I think we have to blink one more time, which is back up here. Now oh wait, we will first. That's a decent distance between us and Lerny. I think I will blink. Nah, too risky. I would like to blink to the to the southwest, but there will not be many enemies. We are at the bottom corner of the map. Here is the bottom corner. How many enemies can be down in this little area? Not many, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's time to kill Lerny. Let's blink down here. And make sure that the whole path towards us is a 27 head death trap. And we got her. Excellent. He's still in the freezing cloud. That's good. I can just wait for, for, for it to die. I, I didn't show you that one particular enemy yet. We should do that next time. One of them appears. Ah, I'm pretty glad that we successfully killed the boss of this dungeon. Of this part of the dungeon, to be precise. And it's pretty good that we can just stand in the 
in the freezing clouds without bad consequences. We made another level and here is the fence strider witch. We already met her earlier. Now we have to fight her. So cast this, cast that, cast this and we killed her, which is pretty lucky because we just ran out of mana. Let's go out and regenerate. So, I'm on the freezing crowd for for the Sprig and Druid too. That should be it. Sprig and Druid goes down. Dragon goes down. Uh, first, regenerate all our hit points. Recast. Oh uh, wait, I will. I will cast a new transformation for maximum duration. Where is the Thorn Hunter? Here. And we got him. This fight went better than the last Thorn Hunter fight. And take a look at that. You pick up the decaying rune and feel its power. Perfect. That's our first rune. Which was the big goal for this episode. So. Let's now just... Scout the remaining bits on this level and then we can call it a successful day. be trivial would have been too nice if it was but here is by Shuzan Madame White Snake a weary draconian with f with foreign and watery scales she has come to the dungeon in hopes of resurrecting her mortal husband a noble cause for a being once known for quarreling with saints and flooding unfortunate temples if pressed to her limits, she will reveal her true form, the mirror's side of which struck her husband dead. Adventurers may wish they were so lucky. Ah, here she is. She's pretty tanky. She can summon hydras. Does a fair bit of damage. Has a quarter stuff of speed, which is a pretty good weapon. But uh, where is the best position to fight her? I think I will first retreat up here because I don't want this open water to be the position. Maybe rather... Here she comes. This looks good. This looks good. Here we can fight her. If she... Here. So here we've got a position where none of the hydras that will appear can get a speed boost. We cast this on ourselves. Directly channel magic now because we don't want to kill the hydras. We want to kill by in the in the back row. Okay. Resistant to cold, that's a bit of a problem. One more step back, kill the Hydra. All Hydra slowed. We don't do a lot of damage. I'm a bit annoyed of that. Can I get some electricity damage in? Yeah. Maybe some more summons. So that looks better. And now 
Let's kill her. Ah, oh, and that's the true form. Now we can see how Bai Shuzen really looks like. Five dots of AC, three MR, but very low EV. But you can cast Primal Wave, a massive damage spell, immune to electricity, so I should maybe not have summoned the Lightning Spire, resistant to poison and cold. Anyways, we have to kill her now, and I think uh, we will use Acid at first. Acid could do the job. Ouch, that hurt. She's acid, that's good. And now... Does the dragon fly? Yes. That's good. So we can cast... Where went now? Almost got her. And by shoes and goes down. Nice. Sadly, she didn't... Okay, it doesn't matter for us anyway. Sometimes she drops an, an armor, which is an enchanted... Uh, a dragon scale with uh, which grants uh, resistant to electricity, but we're an octopus. We don't care about it. Apart from the fact that uh, we are immune to electricity resistant, anyways, whenever we are in statue form. So what have we got here? We must drop some stuff so we can pick the good things up. Random effects we don't need. Brand weapon. Oh yeah, brand weapon. We can read that. Let's read that right now on our demon trident. Now we've got a demon trident of training. It's better. Uh, let's pick up this amulet as well as this ring. And check what the ring does at first. We use it rather than the ring of flight. And it is a ring of ice. Increasing the power of ice spells even further. I'm not going to use it right now because that gets us rid of our only dot and fire resistance. But we will do that later for maximum damage. So... And we're done with Swarm 4. Let's go back to Lair. Take a look at what we reached today. We have got Freezing Cloud at 5%. We've got Air Strike at 2%. Two very helpful spells. I think both helped us in particular situations extremely well. We found a couple new rings. Ring of Power, Magical Power, and a Ring of Intelligence. Both are very, very good for this character. We are getting slowly towards absolute zero. Here it is, 80% failure rate. And this is the big goal for this run. I can't wait to show this amazing spell to you guys in action. Well, anyways, uh, that's all we wanted to do today. In the next episode, I'm pretty sure... Now we've got two choices what to do now. We could either go for Schultz for a second rune. I'm feeling a bit uncomfortable with that because uh, our MR is still pretty low. So the alternative option would be to go to Vaults, which is also a bit dangerous with low MR. You could get marked by the Vault Sentinels. But I think with careful playing, we can deal with that. I'd really like to hear your opinion on, on this. What do you think? Should we go to Vaults or should we go to Schultz in the next episode? Anyways, thanks a lot for your great support throughout this whole series. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy recording again. And I think it's great that we start with such an exciting run. And, well, I hope you enjoy too. And I hope to see you all again in the next episode. Until then, bye everybody. <laughs>